Hey guys, this is just a quick review on my Mantis Dual Pro, so-called Pro. Um, it's an 18.2 amp hour LG M26 cells. Uh, it's got Mini Motors running gear on it. Um, Semi-hydraulic brakes. Weighs around 28 kilos. Um, yeah. So, prior to this scooter, or prior to me buying this scooter, I had an ES4, which was quite a good scooter. Um, bit bumpy, sort of like more of a commuter scooter, sort of lime sort of crap. Then I got a Max, um, which was way too slow. It was capped at like 27Ks, 26Ks. Um, so I got rid of that, and then I started to look at some serious scooters. Um, some of the ones I looked at were the Spider, this one here, and the um, X10. And in the end, it come down to this one and the X10. Um, differences with this and the X10, my mate, he's, he's a bigger guy. Um, I think the X10 is rated for, or 10X is rated for like 150 kilos. He's rated like 120. So he went for the bigger one. X10 is a very similar scooter to this. Um, main differences being it's heavier. You know, this is 28, 29 kilos. X10s or 10X is 36, 37 kilos. Um, the 10X is 52 volt. This is 60 volt. This is mini motors running gear. 10X has got some sort of Chinese running gear. Um, this has sort of like a thicker stem um, than most of the other scooters with a really, really solid uh, locking mechanism. Um, also, when you fold this down, you can actually carry it because it hooks up on that little hook there. Um, you can actually carry it around via the stem. So it's really easy to load in and out of the truck or ute. Um, well, the other thing I like was this narrow deck versus a Dualtron with a really wide type of deck. I wasn't a fan of them. Um, and for the money with the Dualtron, you're still getting mechanical brakes, like full mechanical, some of them, um, which I'm just definitely not a fan of. Um, comes with a nice little bell here. It's pretty loud. It's decent. Um, really good underlighting. Um, range is good. Um... So we're at 36, or we're at 60%. I did a run last night, 36Ks at 60%. Battery still left. Um, I usually drive this thing on Eco Dual because just of how aggressive this power is. Like it just wants to spin the wheels all the time. So when we're going through South Bank and that and the city, I sort of um, go into Eco. It's, it's, it's easier on the arms. It doesn't keep jerking you and pulling you. Because um, it's really, really aggressive. I actually gave a friend of mine who has a Thunder a go of it, and he was shocked with it. He goes, this is so quick. As much as his Thunder is a little bit quicker, especially when we run them together, um, it's not that much quicker, and it, and it has got a bit more top end. But all in all, very similar um, type of scooter. Stability, I would say this is probably more stable than that. Um, the suspension on these... Um, the, act that will, the 10X has really good suspension. Um, I think this is very close or as good and definitely better than the Dualtron suspension. That's, that's, that's a guarantee because they have like the neoprene blocks. And um, one of my friends has got a Dualtron too. And it's night and day with suspension. That's, that's a definite. Um, um, this is actually quite quick, quite a bit quicker than the Dualtron too. I don't know why because the specs are very similar, but every time I run it, it, um, I pull on him quite easy. So, could be his settings. I went through his settings. It looked pretty good. So, um, yeah. Um, some of the, some of the things I've had dramas with. Okay, so the issues I've actually had an issue with first up was I nearly lost this back mudguard because this screw here is very shallow. It's only five mil. It, be, it, it probably goes in one or two threads. Um, I put a 10 mil thread in there, like a, a 10 mil length thread, I think it's like M3, because um, I fly helicopters, so I just had a look through my bolt box and I found a whole heap of cap head screws, so I put them in. Solid as a rock, no issues there. Another really important feature on these high powered scooters, um, if you're looking at getting one, is this here. I put my foot on this all the time, and I'm probably gonna put some grip tape there, 
when I take off, I'm not pulling on the bars, I'm bracing myself when I accelerate, because this thing really accelerates hard. If you've ridden a dual, dual motored scooter with three, 4,000 watts, you'll know what I'm talking about. This is very handy. Also handy for picking up. I pick this up, um, up, you know, from here and the stem and I just load it, like pick it straight up. It's very easy. You don't want to be picking it up from here, that's plastic. Um, I'm absolutely wrapped in the scooter. It's a really tough little scooter. I, pull, I have pulled it down. I've replaced um, the bolts. I've replaced these bolts in here. So they had a recall. So um, just in here, they had a stem recall. So I put some grade 12.9 bolts in there from the bolt shop. Hot, very high quality Aussie bolts. Um, also done all the suspension bolts as well. 12.9. I think they were 65 mil bolts. Um, M6 by 65. So. Anything that I can see that can break or got a potential to break or high load, I've replaced. Um, all these axles are pretty solid. Checked all these, pulled all these apart. They're pretty good, pretty solid, no, no issues. I did have an issue with a slightly out of round tire. Um, had the slightest vibration. Um, so I replaced that tire and it's Mickey Mouse, no vibration at all. The only thing, um, these are semi-hydraulic brakes. So the cable actuated hydraulics, um, which work really well, but when if you're, if you're continuously doing 60k runs, 60 kilometer runs, pulling up really hard, you're going to have problems. Um, you're going to find that they don't have the bite that you really want. So I sort of bit the bullet and bought some Maguras. I got a fit. So the stock. Disc rotor is 140, this one's 160. Um, and I bought these MT4, oh sorry, MT5 four piston calipers. So they're quite quite solid. One of the most powerful calipers money can buy, I'm pretty sure, for a mountain bike, for a downhill mountain bike. This has the actual switch in here, if you can hear that. That brings a brake light on, that brings a electronic brakes in the motor on when the motors want to spin backwards for regen it will cut your cruise control off and bring your i think i said bring your brake lights on um so yeah that's a good little setup that is uh, i've got to fit them the other thing i bought which i think is very very important is this light it's a bc30r phoenix light uh it's rechargeable it detaches it just has a slider here uh, you just sl like slide it back um, and you can scroll through the modes 17 hours you know it's it's 1800 lumen and then you can just keep bringing it out it's got a countdown this is probably the single best thing i bought for this for this scooter um, it works really well and one of the best things about it it is actually a proper mountain bike light it's robust and if you can see the cutout at the top there where it's shaded it doesn't blind oncoming people so when you're riding through south bank or the city um you've got a really good wide spread and a long beam but you're not blinding people because it's not at eye level it cuts off at eye level whereas if that was a normal lens you'd be sort of blinding everyone or getting too much glare off the ground when you point it down so it was a it was about 220 bucks but really well spent the other thing is i've got this carbon bar extension because there's not a lot of room on these bars and for some reason these bars don't have a lot of flat areas to sort of clamp on um the other scooters i was looking at was a dualtron spider it was pretty light but i didn't like the suspension i didn't like the mechanical brakes and i don't like the look of it dualtron is good don't get me wrong they're awesome um the 10x is a, also a good scooter uh, in Australia, I don't think you can get the 60 volt one, so that was like straight away I wasn't interested. As good as they are, the 10X is very similar to this, like I said, but everything's just bigger and beefier. These control arms down here, um, they're much thicker on the 10X um, than, than this, or the, even the Dualtron. Um, they're just a really solid, heavy scooter. They're a good scooter, nothing wrong with them, but without the mini mini motors running here and that and the 60 volt I wasn't too interested in it um, and also they don't fold down here they don't have this 
little clip here where you can fold in it. The bars just sort of hang there, so they're a bit cumbersome to get in the truck, but all good. Um, I, ran, I ran this with the Dualtron 2. This thing's quicker than the Dualtron 2. Haven't run a Dualtron 3 yet. Um, I sort of have run a uh, Dualtron Thunder. Thunder is a bit quicker than this, but not by much. Um, and I think he was cheating a little bit here and there, but I, I rode his and the Dualtron Thunder is definitely quicker, but not by much. Not enough to warrant. I mean, this thing's two and a half grand. Dualtron Thunder's what, 5,000? So you could get two of these for that, so. Um, yeah, if you're looking at a dual motored scooter, um, I wouldn't look anywhere else. I'd be, this is, this is the duck's nuts. I love it. Um, and it's not coming from somebody that doesn't know what they're talking about. I build drag cars, uh, been a mechanic for 17, 18 years, and um, I sort of know my nut and bolts. And I think this is a good bit of gear, especially for the money. Um, I got my wife a 09 to scoot around on because she had the ES4 and it was too bumpy for her. So I got her a 09, which is a good little scooter. Um, but yeah, I think it's an awesome little bit of gear. And if you're thinking about getting one, just get it. Hopefully they come out with a 24 amp hour battery and full hydraulics. But um, as far as I know, and I've spoken to the importer, they're overseas only. But um, you never know. You never know. Thanks, guys. And um, I hope you liked the video. It wasn't very long. But, um, yeah, give us a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, just post it up. Thanks.